Hello, everyone. It is Zer, week number 139. The shader that I am wearing is called Weld Fire. It is from Wrath of the Machine. Figured someone's probably going to ask. So uh, there you go. Zer is hanging out with the Vanguard. Let's see what he's got. Starting from the bottom, we have Plasma Drive and Void Drive. For those, say it with me now, rare blue quality sparrows. Three heavy ammo packs for one strange coin. Ten heavy ammo packs for three strange coin. Five three of coins for seven strange coins. Three glass needles for a bunch of stuff. One mode of light for two strange coins. And one exotic shard for seven strange coins. Weapon bundles this week. We got some auto rifles. We have Monte Carlo with Royal Flush. And the Zalo Supercell with Shock Hazard. Both of those running you 30 strange coins and 25 silver dust titans you are getting a pretty well rolled twilight garrison in like discipline too that's nice side bonus we side bonuses we have more special or heavy ammo pretty nice and we have the void recovery and void armor set of bonuses the main bonus gives you that mid-air dash similar to shadow step in terms of execution as usual, this is a do-a-thing exotic. It doesn't give any sort of a power increase at all. It just gives you a new ability. However, a lot of people swear by the Twilight Garrison, wearing it almost everywhere they go. It enables Titan skating to be taken to the next level, is very frustrating to fight against, and otherwise allow you, allows you to boost your speed in quite ridiculous ways. You only get that ability after a lot of practice, though. If you're looking to push your movement game to the next level, this is what you are going to be wearing. Hunters, unfortunately, you are getting Don't Touch Me. We have side bonuses of decreased melee attack cooldown time or bonus grenade energy on melee hits, and we have auto rifle or sniper rifle, sniper rifle, Bonus reload speed. I wasn't sure if I said that right. The main bonus turns you invisible when you're hit by a melee attack. Historically, these gloves have been pretty bad, but the one area they were okay in is back. The Abyss section of Crota's End. It's pretty handy to be able to go invisible a lot, especially at the end, but I imagine a lot of people have that section of the raid more than figured out at this point. Are they nice to have for that section specifically? Sure. Are they necessary? No. Would you need them anywhere else? Probably not. Warlocks, you are getting Void Fang Vestments. We have side bonuses of bonus hand cannon or fusion rifle ammo, and we have arc burn defense or void armor, which is handy considering the main bonus, with it, which is where you get an extra seeker on your Axion Bolt, and you spawn with grenade energy when you respawn from death. Axion Bolt is up there, in terms of most annoying grenades, so why not make it even more annoying with these robes? Respawning grenade energy is an incredibly good, if boring, bonus, making trials an absolute nightmare for the enemy team, allowing you to pressure and create space like a pro. In PvE, Axion Bolt isn't as strong as I think it should be, plus you're probably not dying a lot in PvE, so this loses a little bit of its value in most PvE activities, unless there is Void Burn. The weapon of the week is the ever-popular Mida Multi-Tool. Mida is one of the, if not the most well-rounded weapon in the entire game. It is essentially immune to any more nerfs or... A I guess buffs at this point as well, not that we're going to have any significant balance changes for the foreseeable future. It has been a staple in PvP for a long time and is a pretty solid PvE weapon as well. It's not very flashy as a weapon, it's just going to kill stuff and kill it really well. The recoil is a little bit bouncy, but that, ha has, but that hasn't proven to be too much of an issue for most people. Why does the preview just like not work sometimes? It lasts for like two seconds and then it just goes away. I don't know. 
whatever. Legacy engram, who cares? That's going to do it for Zer week number 139. Thanks for being patient with me in this uh, lack of content period with my move and all that other stuff. Hopefully the Destiny 2 gameplay reveal in two weeks will provide some good stuff. Check the description otherwise for my usual weekly update. Otherwise, come to my streams, please. It's usually pretty chill there. You can ask me stuff, you know, the whole nine. But uh, yeah, that's it. I'm going to bed. Thank you guys very much for watching. Have a great weekend, and I will see you all next time.